Hello guys, this is Chirothip once again and you are watching Code Java tutorial series. Now in this tutorial we are going to learn about class class exception in Java. So I have created one package over here that is class class exception and I have created one class over here that is public class A and which is having its own uh, variable integer i equals to 10 and uh, like similar b c d is also like similar and b class is extending my a class and which is having its own variable as j is equal to 15 and c class is also extending my b class and which is having its own variable k as 30 and d class which is extending my c class and which is having its own variable as l as 32 now in my manager one class you can see that I have created one object of a class a1 equals to new a. So the declaration of this type of thing will be called as homogeneous object declaration as because you are declaring a1 equals to new of a. Suppose you have declared like uh, a1 equals to new of b then it will not be called homogeneous. Okay. And in my second uh, second line you can see that uh, b b1 equals to b of a1. So it will show you an error because uh, because of this uh, this particular line uh, as a cannot be casted to the b b type and you can see that a cannot be casted into the b to b class and it will show you an class class exception because uh, it's not available over here so it cannot be resolved to the actually in the b class so this line will show you an error and moving to my next uh, next program here you can you can uh, see the basics of class class exception uh, remember this line actually a1 equals to new of c so we are creating uh, an object of c and um, which is being initialized into the reference of a class that is a1 now we are printing a1.i that is also possible and it will give you an output of 10 of the variable i and we are in the third line we have just declared bb1 equals to b of a1 so a1 will be the will be downcasted to the b type and it will be initialized in the b1 reference so b1.i and b1.j will be also accessible from there and c c1 equals to c of a1 so again a1 will be will be downcasted to c type and it is also possible because we have declared a1 equals to new c in the first line so uh, the variable i j k of the c class which is also accessible uh, from the c class because as because c class is extending my b class but in the in this particular line d d1 equals to d of a1 so a1 cannot be downcast to d as because we have initially declared a a1 equals to new of c so it's only a class will be down can be downcasted to c class uh, for until C class actually, but uh, D class it can't be downcast, so it will show you an error and it will give you the proper output of a1.i, b1.i, b1.j, and c1.i, c1.j, and c1.k. But after that, it will show you an exception. Let's have a look if you run this particular program, you can see that uh, first uh, there is a 10, 10, there is a actually 10. Uh, for a1.i and then b1.i and b1.j is equal to 10 and 15 and again this c1.i c1.j and c1.k equals to 10 15 and 30 after that <coughs> after that there is an error as because c cannot be casted to the class class exception d so there will be an error uh, in this particular program from this particular line so so it will it will occur you the class class exception as because you have declared a1 equals new c if you have declared it uh, as a1 equals to new of d then the program will compile very successfully but as you have declared that a1 equals new of c then uh, the program will not compile as because you have you have the permission to downcast to uh, maximum the level of c over here now in the last program you can see that i have declared one reference over here b of b1 and it will be initialized of the object type new of c now a1 equals to b1 this is also possible we are creating uh, one reference of a class a1 and will be initialized by b1 and b is all itself accessible from the we are creating the object of new c so a is also accessible from b and object class is the parent of any other classes so object o1 will be also accessible and will can be initialized by b1 itself 
and C class which is itself uh, the new of C so C class is also available and C of O1 is also available so you can done down, object class is can you can be downcasted to C as because in the third line we have written that object O1 equals to B1 so it will it the compilation and running time will be very success for this particular program if you run this program you will not get any output as because we have not used any print and statement over here but the compilation will be very success for this particular program now we will we will uh, see in my next tutorial we will see that we how we can how, how we can ac actually avoid or actually uh, take care we can take care, care of this particular class class exception in our java uh, programming whenever a class class exception can occur we can have a precaution to 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 just uh, avoid this particular class class exception in our program if it occurs in our particular program so there is a method there is a there is a way you can solve resolve this particular problem so for this particular tutorial i hope you have you have understood what is the main features of class class expression and why it occurs and the various ways to get occurred or get an uh, get an exception of this type so i hope you have learned uh, learned it and thanks for watching and have a nice